using vinyl as a signifier for hipness cliche. Well-worn knives, well-kept. Are they well-worn or well-kept? And how are either of those things a testament to your product? Just because I'm good at taking care of my slice buddies doesn't give you any bonus points. Also, this knife holder is just out here leaving all these blades exposed like it doesn't even care about your safety. What if you accidentally pick that whole thing up and swing it around? What then, KitchenAid? Always the freshest one picked. Unverifiable and unrealistic goals. These are the marks of a maker. A maker? Really? For cooking? If we're broadening the idea of makers past DIY culture to established professions like chefs, what's the limit? Aren't we all making something? I made this joke. Does that make me a maker? Can we just stop co-opting words for commercial gain? Damn you, capitalism! Leave the hipsters alone! Dough-covered hands. Not pictured. Hands covered in dough. Who's storing a heavy mixer on this highest shelf? Chef Keel O'Neill? Saved stocks for homemade stocks. I had to listen to this a dozen times before figuring out that they are talking about asparagus stalks and vegetable stocks. I just kept hearing save socks for homemade stocks and I thought the Dow had some sort of new loyalty footwear program. Which to be clear is 1000% more interesting than asparagus. Burning your food. I haven't seen a pepper this misused since the entire Iron Man franchise. Entire kitchens made for making. As opposed to what? KitchenAid is all like, hey guys, we make products that can be used to do stuff. Buy it because you like to do stuff. So the sin, as always, is consumerism. And the director said, let's have a machine skin an apple. So the audience knows there are assholes who think they're too good to eat the nutritious peel. Oh, I see. We've reached the aspirational part of the proceedings where the company shows you things that you can not only likely never do, but also don't have the time or energy for. This is like the Fushigi for cookware, except it doesn't even come with an instructional DVD. This pancake is already cooked on both sides, so this flip is a lie. You do that sh with a gooey batter side, mister, or you keep your flippin' attitude in check. These dishes haven't been rinsed, which is a good thing. That's right, I'm taking a cent off because the commercial has the pods to take a correct stand on dishwasher etiquette. Stop wasting water with the rinsing, you planet-hating monsters. Smite me, almighty smiter. Now, I'm not much for blaspheming, but that last one made me laugh. Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, music video sense, where we send music videos, and TV sense, where we send TV. Also, subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass, or go raising links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed Void in Tennessee.